Oof. E Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm going to react to another one from Soyang, and this is Everyone. This one has been requested a couple of times in the comments, and apparently in this video that I'm about to watch, there is no subtitles. Uh, but somebody sent me a link to another video where there are some subtitles, because apparently she sings some words in her own language. So I'll see, I'll check out this video uh, without the subtitles and see if it's necessary to check out the other video afterwards. So the last one that I reacted to from Soyang was the duet with Min Hoyak, I believe uh, his name was, and you guys love that. So let's check this one out from uh, Soyang. Uh, I don't know if this is... This is not from Immortal Songs, I believe. I don't really know. But either way, let's go, guys. Here we go. Mm, nice soft run there. So I see. Progressing in the chords here too. Right away to that head voice. Okay, so far, like some of the parts when it's really soft and, and easy going, the way she eases into the notes, uh, the way she fades into the notes is, is really relaxing, I feel like. Um, and I think I will check out the one with the subtitles as well, because right now she didn't sing any words in English, uh, not that I saw or heard, so I will check it out after this one. Let's listen on further. That's a... Yeah, so you can sing like more full, like when you open your mouth like that, like when, but here she goes more sharp, like when. And that's a nice contrast in there because she does both at, at certain points. Let's listen to that again. It's even a little bit, I don't know if it's head voice, but she goes like, well. 
So she widens her mouth and not really all, not really the all sound, but goes really wide. Okay, here we go. Okay, before she goes on, so now she's singing in English and she's really given, again, a lot of energy and she's given a lot of accent, there's a lot of character in this. And she also, at certain points, I've noticed this in a couple of her performances, that sometimes when she has a note to reach, she just hits the note below that one as, as a takeoff to the note upwards and it gives a strange feeling like it doesn't belong there until you hear the note that she eventually want to reach and then you're like oh this makes sense right and here she does that again she did it in Arilang alone as well and in this one too I think in the duet she also did a note like that it, here it's pretty subtle actually just at this moment in time just listen to that listen did you hear that? That was like, Wah. So she hit the note just below the one that she actually wanted to reach. Very cool. That's a hard note. Here, in this case, she bended towards the note she wanted to reach. So she hit, again, that note, like, below the one she eventually wanted to reach, but bended towards that one. It was a legato transition to that uh, other note. Also, in this one, I noticed a couple of uh, moments. There are some words that she almost shouts, like, to give some accents. Uh, they're really singing it, but it gives more character, I believe. Wow. 
Wow. La mañana. Pero el tema. Tu canal. Pero el chuchi. Wow. Yo lo hago. Oh my God. Feels like a celebration right now. Is this the end of the show? Is this the last song? Feels like it. <laughs> oh my God, this is good. <laughs> that was super good. Like that is in that section, that whole section. Uh first of all, when it went quiet, like she was singing in I believe Korean again. And even though I didn't read the words, I didn't understand the words, it was still emotional because of the way she brought it. And that says a lot about her qualities as a performer, as a singer. Because she can bring across emotions without having to make you understand the words. It's just she brings across the emotion through her technique and through her emotion and the way she brings it. That was super nice. And then there are so many nice melodic twists and turns here uh, and, and, and variations which makes it probably super hard to sing also uh, the quick transition from her chest to head voice uh, and back down uh, there is so much in this performance and I might actually also agree with some people with this being probably the most difficult one that I've seen from her. Um, listening to what she's uh, done in this one. It, that That's a very different one. And what I notice more in this one compared to the other ones, even more. Because I saw it in like uh, A Bridge Over Troubled Water and such as well. But you see more moments here where she is really um, relaxed and like feels more casual in the way she comes across to the audience. I, I think that that comes across to me like that. Like it's more like she's right there with you. Uh, like it's like she's talking to you personally in these moments. It seems very natural this one, the most natural, I think, from the things I've seen her do. That was super nice. Let's see. Uh, I just want to see what she says in, in those moments uh, in Korean. Uh, the, so those two moments in the beginning and at the end, I believe, um, that are in Korean. I want to hear that in this video. Let's see. The screen is a bit smaller here, so don't mind it, guys. But it's just to see what it means. Mm -hmm. So I'll stop this when it starts in English. Very fitting the lyrics here because when the moment that she that she said 
something about crying there, the tone suddenly went a bit uh, down as well. Like it, it sounded more sad as well. Uh, the tone, it went to a minor key, I think, at that moment. Let's listen to that moment again. This is major. Here it goes a, a little more sad. Yes, and this is a minor chord. Okay. But the whole vibe of this section fits very well with the lyrics. So we'll skip this. We saw this in the in the other video, but that was that first section. The lyrics were very emotional, very kind, and very uh, hopeful in the sense that she wants to be there for somebody. That we all want to be there for somebody, and there's always somebody there for us, or there should be. Let's go to the part when she starts singing it in Korean again, because this whole section is in English, I think. Oh, here she is already starting in Korean. Let's see. Okay, so here she starts in Korean. How much I would like to listen to this again, I will probably do this afterwards. But let's first go to the next part that she sings in Korean. Is it here? <laughs> yes. This is almost fully a cappella, the whole part. That's impressive. That's so hard. Because there are no other instruments, at least not in the beginning, to support you. First of all, to keep the tempo kind of right, but also to stay in pitch there. Also, you hear, when you're all alone there... Mistakes are heard pretty easily, right? 
Because if it's a whole symphony, it's a whole orchestra, the other instruments mask some mistakes that could happen, right? In, 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 in voice, in other instruments. Uh, you will not hear everything depending on how big the, the mistake will be or the imperfect moments, let's say. Uh, but this section shows how good she really is by singing all by herself. Because you can hear it when she makes a mistake, when there is no other instrument uh, in the arrangement. It's so touching when she says this. Oh, wow. Super good. Man. Yeah, I get a cold feeling, man. You really feel the natural vibe here with her. That quick spit to the head voice. Well, let's listen to the end again. Let's, won't we? Two times the charm. It's still a Korean right here, so. Well, that's a powerful ending. That's a powerful ending. There are so many good moments in this. Uh, and there always are in these performances from her, but from very soft and emotional, the moment that she, it's just, the thing is, the most emotional part in this is where she's not singing, is where she's speaking, is where she's talking, right? So, it's also a quality that you need to have as a, as a performer. It is her voice, though. It's not really sung, it's not a melodic part but it is her voice and it is the sound of her voice the way she speaks which also and and her facial expressions which makes it so emotional um for the audience to look at and to listen to and what i experience at least man thank you so much guys for this suggestion as well yeah i'm really getting a soft spot for uh so young Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other reactions to So Young, other singers, bands, musicians, and such. I also have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out. So thank you very much, and see you guys next time. Bye. Today I'm going to react to, an, because uh, right now I see, I, I don't, because she do, she, um, but just below the one she did that, and it gives a, and it gives a, and it gives a, you hear that? Like, like here in this case, she, she bled, so there's not really, uh, uh, so there's not, it's seen, it's, um, how, how how much I would rat or or the ash or because she can. I uh, also I also have music videos 